Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and after yesterday's Giga Semi construction video, I decided to um, change batteries and relaunch the drone and go over and check out what's happening at the pilot production line at 550 Milan. I had seen something there a couple days before the previous flight that um, I was asked not to share, and as out of respect, for Tesla and um, trying to maintain a very positive relationship. I um, am abiding by that. Um, but we do get to see what I was um, told not to share, but I'll be, I'll be it with a, a cover over it. So we can speculate on what it was and what it is. It's not that hard to tell what it is. And I don't think that's a secret. But, um, but I think Tesla just would rather not expose the details of the particular item in question. So this is the east side of 550 Milan, the pilot production line. And you can see um, a, a good handful of Tesla semis. I think if I remember right, the count is about 11 Tesla semis on this side. So take, you can keep track for yourself the count I came up with was 11 Tesla semis. You notice that there are a handful of fairings also um, stored over here, ready to, uh, right there, and on, on both sides, high fairings and low fairings, ready to be um, attached to the top of the basic cab. The cab is steel, and the fairing is fiberglass. And I think it's held on by something like 18 bolts. So now we're going to go along the northern side of Milan Avenue over to the um, west side, the northwest side of the building. And that blue package is the mystery object. You may remember, if you've been following, that um, over the last several weeks there was a full a fully assembled Tesla Semi under shrink wraps that was loaded on a pallet that would that says crane lift only. By the way, on this side, I count 10 Tesla Semis for, for a grand total of 21 Tesla Semis in and around the um, 550 Milan building. That blue package, when I flew the other day, that, that blue item was not wrapped, and I don't think it takes uh, an amazing detective to figure out what that is. Again, it may have exposed too many parts and too many trade secrets and now it's covered and it also is on a pallet and I don't see whether or not you know these are big pallets I don't see whether or not it says to uh, crane lift only but I bet it does now pure speculation where why would they wrap a Tesla semi um, that we saw two weeks ago and why would they wrap this partially assembled something and my only guess, my only educated guess is it's because they're being shipped overseas. If I was to venture a guess, and it's a complete guess, is they're being sent over to uh, Giga Berlin as models for um, prototype models for building for them to start thinking about building a Tesla semis over there. I don't know if they have enough factory space or if they would have to stand up new factory space, but that's, that's my only guess. That's my only and best guess. And it's further, um, it's further solidified by the fact that this part is also being wrapped and sent 
and uh, whatever it is, it's not. We can we can we can say it's not a fully assembled Tesla semi. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think, and if there's any other logical reason why they would um, wrap that the way they did and put it on a pallet as opposed to drive it if it were the, just a new delivery to new customers. By the way, these two, four, six, eight, ten Tesla semis are the last Tesla semis of the OG version, and these have been steadily being doled out to new customers, some of which have beautiful wraps. I do like the Tesla white semi, but man, some of those, te some of those different companies and their wraps look really good. Just taking a good look at these Tesla semis. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the next flight that two or four or more of these are gone and delivered to new customers. And Dan Priestley announces um, that a new customer has received Tesla semis for, for testing in their fleet, testing the, their viability and how they fit into their fleet now we're going to fly back to my um, drone takeoff location, flying over the 550 Milan, the Thrive Market building here, which is um, healthy mail order food, and uh, of which I am a subscriber. The new building, the new Milan twin building on the left, and at some point in time, I expect them to uh, start construction on the second twin, in which case I will have to find a new drone takeoff location. I have been given permission to fly from this drone location, but obviously that would change once construction starts. Another thing I noticed, and that we're gonna, if you stay tuned till the end, you'll see that there's been another change on Milan Avenue. If you remember last week, um, I had a video showing the amazing amount of activity at the, at the um, LFP battery factory across the street and just west of the uh, pilot production, semi-pilot production line factory. In any event, there were cars parked up and down the street and um, Overflow parking below, overflow parking above, um, in the new Giga Semi property with a shuttle bringing them back down. And we talked about the density. Um, and apparently, Story County Sheriff's Department has had enough. This is one of those weird phenomenons where you can't read all of the signage. It actually says no parking will be enforced. And this is what it looked like. The last time I flew, with um, as an example of, and I'm going quickly this time to, so as to not bore you, but in case you missed last week, this is the parking. Where all these cars are going to go, um, I would guess, I would venture to guess that most of them will be up above where new pavement and new striping has been um, completed at the uh, high volume Tesla semi factory affectionately dubbed Giga Semi by me, or I actually like to per refer to myself in the third person, by the Tesla Semi Advocate. So all these cars are going to have to find a new place to park. Thanks for joining, and I'll fly the drone again tomorrow.